take it away. What's up, guys? Slam Vintage. I'm Mark. And I'm Austin. Uh, we're going to take you through our top 10 personal items at the moment. And afterwards, we're going to go through a rundown of our future plans with Slam Vintage. Yeah, we're going to be doing a pop-up probably sometime this summer and maybe have a uh, booth over at one of our local flea markets. And we're located just outside of Chicago, Illinois. So if any, any of you guys are thrifting or doing the vintage thing in Chicago, definitely hit us up on Instagram at Slam Vintage. And with that being said, I think we're going to get right into it. We're just going to alternate and uh, go from there. They're not in any order, just kind of... Well, mine are in order. They go from like the type of shirt it is, like what category it's in. So I'll start first. Uh, my first shirt up is this double-sided Axl Rose shirt. So the front's in color and then the back's in black and white. Uh, it's from, I want to say, 98-ish. Um, I'm just a huge fan of Guns N' Roses. Not the particular Axl Rose shirt I wanted, but it'll do. Where'd you uh, pick it up at? Uh, well, this one, uh, I got my tax return back. I figured I'd buy myself something nice. You this is what I want. With. There you go. All right. Yeah, not all of these were personally thrifted. Some of them were purchased. Um, just like this guy right here. We got the uh, Chicago Bulls pinstripe starter baseball jersey. Um, real clean. I actually picked this up at round two in Richmond, Virginia when I was uh, out there visiting with uh, one of my other buddies and we were visiting my mom out there. So yeah, this is an awesome purchase there like to get the uh, local Chicago flair out in Richmond. Next up for me is this double-sided DMX shirt. That's the front. There's the back. Uh, this one fits me a little snug now, but I'll make it work. Uh, I got this one in Rad Vintage in downtown Chicago before they moved to their new location. Uh, we actually got there before the owner was there. The guy that was working was like, I'll hook you guys up before he gets there and gets mad at me. So shout out to a nice guy, Yayo, I believe it is. Yeah. <sighs> Moving on, this is one of the first vintage pieces that I actually copped. It's a all over print, or if you want to call it that, GT BMX jersey. Uh, just really awesome, man all the vibrant colors. It's in pretty good shape too. All the advertisements for like Sega, Dino, you know, Shimano. Yeah, Sega right there. I don't know that. Yeah, so real cool, real vibrant, real colorful. Um, I picked this up, I wanna say it was on eBay. I think it was on eBay. Didn't she get from Soul Food or no? Or no, he had one, I think. Yeah, Soul Food had one of these. Soul Food San Fran um, had one of these. Around, I, I saw that picture around the time when I got this. I think I got it off eBay, but maybe Next somebody off Instagram. Is a shirt that he hates I have, but it's a Ken Griffey Jr. shirt. Um, I believe this one I got off eBay for like 10 bucks. Got it for a pretty good steal. I mean, it's nothing special, but for me, I love it. I wear it a lot. Not really, actually. I really don't wear many of my shirts, to be honest. Next, we got this all over print gem from Chase Authentics. Uh, it's the Bass Pro Shop, NASCAR, Dale Earnhardt kind of collab thing, if you want to call it that. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just an outright beauty. Uh, this was also an eBay purchase. I actually think I might have gotten this with my tax return, part of it. I actually got it for a really good price as well, so I was real stoked about that one. I can't find one of my size. Next is a shirt from Magic Johnson Tees. Uh, I was skeptical to buy it because the age, I didn't think the extra large would really be an extra large. Because, you know, extra large in the 90s and 80s was a completely different size. But it fits. Um, I'm a huge Blackhawks fan, so I wear this one pretty much anytime I'm watching <coughs> or anytime I go to a game. Alright, moving on. We're gonna start with the front because it's not as vibrant. It's this uh, old Nike Michael Jordan uh, competitive spirit baseball tee. Um, when you flip it to the back, you got Michael Jordan all over that back print with the white socks. Um, round two actually just posted this on Instagram. They have one. Um, so that was kind of cool to see that. I've actually never seen another one of these until then. I don't know if it's common or not. Um, that was actually my first vintage shirt that I ever got and I actually got it from this guy right here. So he kind of inducted me into the vintage game with that. Next for me is a Dennis Rodman double-sided shirt. He thought the front was cool. Wait till the back. Um, 
Um, this shirt I got on eBay for I think 30 bucks. Uh, I wore it a day we went to Boneyard to sell off a bunch of stuff and they were offering me money left and right to buy from me because they had one that was just brought in but it was super faded and obviously I said no. Boneyard is a vintage shop in Chicago yeah. as well. Sorry about this chair, it's very spooky. Next up, we got this. Um, I actually did thrift this personally. Uh, there was two of them. Uh, it's a UNLV all over print, three quarter sleeve uh, shirt. It was new with tags. It's by this company called Long Gone. I wasn't very familiar with it. I, I don't know if I actually ever heard of it before. Um, but yeah, you got, oh, well, it's a tricky one. New with tags. Uh, yeah, man. I mean, you know, like the UNLV stuff is kind of, I don't know if you could classify it as rare, but sought after. So this is a nice pickup. Next round of shirts for me are uh, one of my favorite things, that being Star Wars. So this shirt, normally you only see it in kid sizes. And I scoured eBay every day until I found it in the adult size by Liquid Blue. It's a Jar Jar Binks shirt. And, uh, you know, people are going to say, oh, Jar Jar is one of the worst characters in Star Wars. It did its job when I was a kid. I loved him. And that was what his goal was when you were a little kid. All right, moving on. We got this uh, Harley Davidson shirt. It's Lynchburg, Tennessee, which, if you don't know, is where they make Jack Daniels. Um, I just thought the graphic on this was real cool. I'm a huge fan of country music, Harley, Jack Daniels. So I can't really go wrong. The front's not too exciting. Um, but, you know, that back graphic is really cool. We took a, a nice picture with this guy, um, you know, like this like farm area in town. And actually, I thrifted this one as well. So this next piece is one I actually thrifted along with five other like all over print uh three of them are star wars this is the one i kept uh the other two star wars ones have darth vader on the front as well and those are on my ebay which is in our uh on our instagram page and then the other two were star trek shirts yeah and you'll see we'll put all the uh, information for our ebay's um instagram and everything will be in the description of this video next up this is a gem. Um, I was actually gifted this um, by you, correct? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So on my birthday, I think it was, or it was Christmas. Christmas. No, Christmas. Yep, Christmas. Um, this Budweiser billiards pool tee. Um, I'm a huge fan of Budweiser. I like playing pool and or any type of bar game, honestly. And uh, just the graphic on this, I don't know. It's just like super clean and simple, but um, I love it. You'll see this in a picture as well on our on our page when we did a little lookbook kind of thing this next shirt uh wasn't thrifted wasn't bought it was gifted to me by my uncle so that's the front nwo and on the back it has crew and my uncle actually worked for tnt during this time so this is actually a shirt that he wore on production for the set of it and stuff and he still works there now so he's going to be there for the company that just signed on with tnt to hopefully be competition with wwe this was another shirt that I was gifted for Christmas from my uh, younger brother, actually. It's just a plain essential Titanic tee. Um, you know, how, how can you go wrong? One of the greatest movies of all time. Don't listen to this guy. Uh, it's from 1996. Um, yeah, I don't really know what, much else to say. It's just a clean essential tee. Uh, this is one that I've been wanting to add to my collection pretty much ever since I started in uh, vintage. I do really want that, like all over printish one or maybe it's not all over print but it's like got that huge graphic on the front of him kind of yeah it kind of looks like the uh tiger woods tee like the bay club or whatever that's but that one this one's kind of small so i don't get to wear it that often um but one of my favorites for sure next is uh i got this one from someone on instagram uh they may they only sell like wrestling shirts i can't <coughs> think of his name right now but uh, it's a cane from 1998. Uh, here's a little tip for you bigger guys. If you get a shirt that fits a little too tight, it sounds a little gross, but wear it to sleep for about a week and then wash it, air dry it. It'll fit you like an extra large. Uh, All right, 
Next up is a very interesting piece, if you want to call it that, because it started off as a crew neck sweater, and then it got, I like, I don't know, I like left it outside or something. Like it was, I don't even know what happened to it, honestly. I just, one day I took it out of my closet and the sleeves were like deteriorating. Like, I don't even know, like probably like moths or something. I don't know what happened. Um, but I bought this at Rad Vintage the same day that he got the uh, DMX shirt actually. And it's the uh, Tupac flip and dip. Um, if you're familiar with vintage, I'm sure you've seen this before or seen one of the Tupac kind of all over print type things. Um, yeah, so I just cut it the sleeves off. So it's kind of like raggedy, uh, like Dago shirt or whatever. But um, you can see it on my Instagram. We did a, a lookbook. Uh, this was in there as well. It works. I mean, I wish I didn't have to cut the sleeves uh, off, but I did. Yeah, that, that, I don't understand how, what the fuck happened to me. Nope. Uh, this next shirt, uh, going back to the Boneyard, they cashed me out for a bunch of like Chicago Bull shirts that I had for, I think it was like three bucks each. I think I had like 20 of them. Um, so I pocketed some cash and then I bought myself this. It's a big front graphic of Stone Cold. Um, I want to buy more, but the price of them is just skyrocketed. On the back it says Bad to the Bones. Uh, somehow I get away with wearing this like in public places and no one notices that he's flicking them off. So I love it. Next up from 1994, we got this yeah, Toronto Raptors starter tank um, all over print and it's also reversible. So I'll show you. The other side's not as cool though. Yeah, the other side just like essential kind of style but I mean it's still pretty decent got the back starter logo um this was also one of the first vintage things that I got I don't know where I got this actually you got it from me did I yeah oh. back when you would like come to my house and just buy shit out of my closet oh yeah that's how I started kind of getting my vintage game going really I don't hmm. yeah so there's the story on that guy I think I got that the same day as the uh that Raiders hat wasn't it Maybe. Yeah, the grid. Yeah, the grid. I'm out. Oh, I got one more. I can't count. Um, so number 11. It's going to be this Winston. Winston. <laughs> this Winston Racing T. Uh, long sleeve. Double-sided. Got the pocket. The sleevage. You know, the cleavage, but with sleeves. Uh... That's just really, I mean, this is not a good view, but it's really sick to so just take my word for it. Um, this is just an awesome piece. I love racing. Uh, the hometown that I actually lived in before I moved here has a big dirt track, uh, dirt clay track, and they race, uh, you know, all these different types of cars um, on there. It's pretty redneck. It's awesome. They're, they're shit cars. Yeah, they're just like but people, you know, beat them up, crash them out, and I don't know. There's technical terms behind it, but I don't know exactly. So I wore that out there this uh last season actually um so this one's pretty like pretty meaningful honestly i just really like it it kind of reminds me of that and it was a fun time out there can't wait to get out there this year actually they're open they are open so we do gotta get out there pretty soon that being said uh we're finito here that's all of our uh our personal items yeah. right now uh well our favorite personal items uh he's definitely got uh a lot more items that could have probably made this video I'm a um, He's yeah, kind of a hoarder. I'm a little bit behind, but I still got, you know, decent stock uh, coming up. Um, we are going to be doing a pop-up shop here in Illinois. Uh, it's going to be in Wheaton, Illinois, actually. Um, we don't have a date set completely, but we have a location. The location? The uh, location is my mom's boyfriend's bar. Uh, it's called Rosie O'Reilly's in Wheaton. Um, I did get the okay from him, and he said that, obviously, if you're 21, and you buy an item, you'll get a free drink ticket. So, you know, you walk inside, get yourself a free drink. Um, and then the more you buy, I think we'll cap it off at like three. Say you buy three items, you can get three drink tickets, and then we'll cap you off there. Um, and you can just hang out, grab beers, grab a mixed drink, whatever you prefer. Uh, talk vintage with us if you're really big into it. Um, uh, that's really it. I'll tell you what, if you buy uh, more than three items 
from one of us or whatever you buy like five items or something i'll buy you a drink too so uh we can we can work that in um we might buy five items from him just to get a drink hey you know whatever works um but if we when we do have a, a select date we'll let you guys know it'll be posted on our instagram for sure we'll put it in the uh, description of this video too once we have a date um so yeah come out visit us um we're also going to probably be doing a, a little pop-up booth or whatever you want to call it like we'll have a booth at the uh wolf's flea market which is at allstate arena in in rosemont um rosemont illinois if you're familiar it's pretty close to the city so if you're even if you're in downtown or whatever you could you could come out to rosemont and it's a big flea market i believe it's pretty pretty yeah, big right big. um so i want to get there at 4 a.m so we can get one of the ideal spots he doesn't want to wake up 4 a.m is early man uh, 5 a.m you, 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 got, do five you gotta get that ideal spot so check us out there check us out on instagram at slam vintage uh, you can check us out. Our personal Instagrams are listed in the bio as well, as well as our eBay and all that type of stuff. So thanks for watching and uh, happy thrifting.